His ears. I'm telling you, I don't know how I got by without it. <laughs> you with me here? Howie. What? I'm fine. Hey, pal, that's why you divorced her. Now, there you go. There is nothing a good sweat won't cure. It's that time. I don't want you to fire me. <laughs> uh, and you should look into that TiVo thing. It'll change your life. been robbed. You! Freeze! No! Come no! back off, Mr. Chris! I'm gonna have to detain you. Sir. Yep. We're definitely talking deer hunter. One shot, dead. Like that. I'm impressed. You shot first. I told him to freeze. Guy pulled a gun in a bank. I have no problem with that. I did my 20 over to 2-4. This is the first time I ever. Sorry, take it easy. Listen, did you see him with anyone else? No, Mr. Faber screamed. I locked the doors by remote. Okay. Thanks. Is he a customer? I never saw him before. This is nuts. I mean, Howard said he never got hit that bad in his divorce. He makes a good living. Half of one, anyway. Listen, don't go anywhere, all right? Yeah. Bonnie's got no idea how we doing on Clyde. Oh, his name's on the door, Howard Grant, bank manager. Now you know why I keep my money in my mattress. I said I did it. What else do you want from me? You can give us the name of your friend. That would be nice. He's dead, Howard. The guy's not gonna mind. So you know what that tells us? That tells us that you're protecting somebody. It's not easy for two guys to rob a bank nowadays with trained security and cameras. And the getaway? Who's gonna let a guy with Fort Knox and a gym bag walk outside and hail a cab? Our guys are going through the bank video cameras inside and out. Our DA has a soft spot in his heart for guys who give up their partners. But if you dummy up, you're not helping him, you're hurting yourself. I mean, you don't look like the kind of dude that wakes up in the morning and decides to go out and commit a Class A felony. Why is she here? Imagine my surprise when Mrs. Fogarty knocks on my door and tells me that the man I married, father of my only child, is being led away from his place of employment in handcuffs. I want to be there when you explain to Julie why it is you won't be around for the next 8 to 20. Who's Julie? Our six-year-old. I can't believe I let you talk me into joint custody. Damn it, Cheryl, I did it for Julie. You think I want them to... Them? What are you talking about, Howard? No, nothing. Howard, Julie is in school, right? If anything happens to her, Howard, I swear to God. Who's got her, Howard? If these guys have Julie, they're not going to be messing around. If they have your daughter and they don't have the money, you do the math. It was so fast. I was on my way to work. I walked up from the subway and that man in the bank, the dead one, he came up to me, I swear. I never saw him before. He told me to call home, so I did, by myself. A man answered. He was there with Julie. Oh, my God. He said he was going to kill her if I didn't do what they wanted. The other one handed me the gym bag. Did you recognize the voice? I didn't know either of them, I swear. I didn't know what to do. 
You left a six-year-old at home by herself. You have no idea how many times I have begged him not to do that. It was for 15 minutes. Somebody's got to earn a living. <sighs> when Julie stays over, Joan Cathcart, the mother of one of her classmates, picks her up and takes her to school. What do you mean missing? She's home in bed. That's what Howard told me. When was that? This morning at 8.45. I buzzed and he was there. He said she was running a fever and he was keeping her home today. Are you sure it was Mr. Grant on the other end of the intercom? I said Howard and he said yeah. CSU is working on the apartment. A bank robbery task force says that there aren't any jobs with similar MOs in the city. Well, everyone has to start somewhere. There was one in Trenton, one in Philly, and both of them were unsolved. Is the Amber Alert still in place? No, the task force says that the kid in Jersey was killed after the locals went public. What about Philly? Well, that kid was never found, but we're not sure that these are the same guys. So all we have is an unknown DOA in the morgue. The task force is running his Prince 2 national database now. Talk to Mrs. Grant. Maybe she has a better memory than Howard. Bastard. Did you ever... Don't you think I would tell you? All right, we're going to have Officer Randall take you home, all right? If you... You'll be the first person I call. All right? Montana. Please tell me this boy has his name tattooed on his ass. I wish. All I can tell you is his last meal was escargot. You soak anything in butter, it slows the digestion. Hey. This guy's prints were in the system. He got pinched three years ago in a fight in some swanky bar. His name is Cyrus Lowell.